Okay, so we've uh, installed WordPress locally and we've got our Photoshop documents that give us a visual representation of how we'd like the site to look. So what's the next stage? So the next thing we do is to install our theme and we'll be using the Genesis theme framework with this site and we'll be creating a child theme on top of Genesis. Now, the reason I use Genesis, I've been using Genesis for a year and a half, it's the best premium theme framework that exists on WordPress. It is possible to set up a WordPress site without having to buy a theme framework, but I just find the advantages of paying $60 hugely outweigh the cost. The benefit of using a framework is that the core theme coding is already done and done correctly. The CSS and the HTML that is created by this theme is absolutely 100% perfect. Better than I could ever do or a lot of people could ever do on their own because there's a team of PHP, HTML and CSS experts that create these themes. Uh, Matt Mullenweg, the founder WordPress developer, says child themes are the only way you should build your WordPress site and um, he also recommends Genesis. A lot of famous bloggers use it like Darren Rouse, founder of problogger.net and uh, loads of other people. So I'm pretty unapologetic about using Genesis. It's, it's only $60 and I have never regretted doing it. So in order to install Genesis, I have my affiliate link. Of course, you don't have to use this if you didn't want to. If you do use this, I get a small commission on the price of the theme, but I'm very happy for you not to do it. And of course, if you have any questions about Genesis, then please let me know. But here is my affiliate link, and that is robcoven.com forward slash go forward slash Genesis. And that will take you to the Genesis site where you can purchase the theme framework for $60. I've already done this, so I'll go into my studio press. Here you see the themes that I've purchased. Not only have I purchased the Genesis framework, I've also purchased three other themes. You can actually buy all of the themes. I think there's about 60 themes and I think they sell them for 200 to $300 or something like that. And you can get all these other child themes that work on the top of Genesis framework. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm just going to use the theme framework so I can download this here. I've already got it, but I can download it anytime. And the sample. This is a, a free sample child theme I'm going to load now. So I've downloaded these themes to my desktop as zips. Here they are, that's the Genesis theme framework and that's the sample zip, that is the child theme. This is the main framework, you never use this as a theme, you always use the child theme as a theme. This is because the theme framework gets updated and if you make changes to this they'll be lost after the update. Now what you can do is unzip these and add them to the WordPress themes folder. Now let's do it from the inside of WordPress. If we go to appearance themes, this is where you organize your themes and at the moment we have the default 2012 theme installed. Here is another default theme that's available, the 2011 theme, but we're going to install the Genesis themes. So we go install themes, upload and choose file and let's first click on the theme framework but remember we don't ever use that, but we're going to activate it now. And now we'll upload the sample child theme. And activate that. And now, as you see, we've got the Genesis framework, which isn't the current theme, and that's good. You never want that to be the current theme. And the Genesis sample theme is now our current theme. So if we go back to the WordPress install, this is how it looks when you first install it with the default theme and refresh that and there you have the child theme installed. And remember this is a responsive theme and it responds to the size of the device that is viewing the website. So you get a nice looking website on a mobile and a tablet. I just want to show you the local install in WordPress again to show you where the themes are. 
So this is the local install of WordPress again. Remember we put that inside htdocs, which is inside our MAMP folder. Inside WP content, there is themes. And there you see the two themes that we added the zips of via the appearance themes area in the back end of WordPress. Remember we added the Genesis framework and then the sample theme. What we could have done actually is just unzip the two zips and just added those folders into the themes folder. That would have added them to the list of available themes in the back end. Another thing you can do now that you know you're going to be using Genesis is just to delete the 2011 and 2012 themes. I quite like to do that because otherwise you'll get messages from WordPress that you have to update these even though you're not using them. So if you go back into appearance themes you'll see that all we have now is Genesis. We don't have those two default themes there. So I hope that explained a bit about installing themes in WordPress. Still loads more to do of course but we'll get onto that in subsequent videos. Okay, so this is Rob from robcubbon.com. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. 